All right, here we go again. Now, I made this earlier, but I had some sound issues, so I deleted it. It's uh, three hours and one minute long. Starting all over again, though, from where I started. It's where we left off in the last video. Just trying to make these things perfect for you guys. I know they'll never be perfect, but I can try. Abernathy Farms. So this place here, sometimes you'll find dead bodies, sometimes you'll find super mutants. Uh, but you're always going to find a little alcohol. And there's a couple of dogs right over here. Good shot, Heather. And they got a couple cans of pork and beans. I ain't figured out how to open them up yet.
And he went sliding down the hill. Somewhere down here is where he'll be. Ah. Uh. So if you go through these fast, you'll get a you'll get a little extra bump. So when you do these in the cooking stove, never leaves any leftovers. Go up here. Anytime you craft anything outside of your uh, workbenches in your settlements, you're going to... Uh, because this is stripping these components out of solid components. Scrap's the new thing for me. I only started selling it a little while ago. Still have a lot to learn about the trade. And see, here's where you need the bones to make the cutting fluid. So what I want to show you is this stuff's going to stay in here. And I actually one time did some modifications on some guns while I was on the road. And I forgot to get my stuff out of it. And I got a bad habit of checking things. Uh, but there's never anything in there. And one time I went into a place and I'd been in there before and I opened it up and there was all kinds of shit in there and that's when I remembered hey I've been here before and it was stuff that I had put in there and left so wasteland survival guide permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks permanently Okay, now, here, I'm going to show you why Heather's so interactive with this, uh, with, uh, this game. They really went the extra mile. So she's going to listen to this with me. Runaways Hollow Tape. Doesn't she look Real like she's bad. listening? Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed, that, that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word, not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I, I wouldn't have a place to sleep. Just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? That poor girl. What a horrible family. See, she cares. Okay, so there's some raiders up here. And I 
got to see if I got a sniper rifle. So if you hit the little button that's, uh, I always say 45 degrees down, but 45 degrees is straight out side to side, so it's not 45, it's, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, 90 degrees. Anyhow, if you look at your center button, that has the Xbox emblem on it or whatever emblem your uh, controller has, usually the one that powers the controller up. There's a, there's two buttons, one on, that's down at an angle from it. One on the left, one on the right. So if you hit the one on the left, it zooms this in. I'm going to equip this and I'm going to tag it. <coughs> Dang, breathing funny. Okay, so. sitting there. Now he's getting up. So if you hold down the left um, the left stick straight down It steadies your scope. Now that only works with scope weapons. See, it's not doing anything with a non-scope weapon. Now, I haven't took the Aqua Girl perk yet. So I'm going to take radiation and I can't breathe underwater. So there should be a total of four and a dog up here, and we just killed one of the four. Raiders, they lost. Another day, another dead fucking raider. She hates raiders, but she hates simps more. So that's three. Maybe that wasn't three. Did I get the dog? Yeah, I got the dog. First one was the dog, so then I got... And then there's a few things laying around here. You can get food. Some of it's already cooked. A little bit of uh, junk. I think that's the only... There might be something on this end. I can't remember. 
Yeah. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Mm. So then there's uh, this little thing up here. Mm. Oh, he's got some crap in him. Must have been a pack Brahmin. Now, there was a playthrough that I did. Uh, I mean, it was when I was doing my sound test. Um... Uh, I played a lot of this game, a whole bunch of it, just to, just so that I could listen to the sound, make make adjustments, play another chapter, and uh, I uh, I had found a damn uh, a bunker doorway to a bunker. And, uh, all it said was, was, uh, detonate or explode or something like that. And I don't see it here anywhere. I don't know where it came from, where it went to, what it was doing. But, uh. I put a landmine in it right at the entrance and then went back quite a ways and shot it and the damn thing blew up and almost killed me. Almost killed me. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple things real quick. Level up. First thing I'm going to take is Aqua Girl. So now I can breathe underwater and I can also. Uh, can breathe underwater and uh, uh, won't get any rads when I'm in the water. I'm going to go ahead and take the gunslinger. And I'm going to take the rifleman. So I got two more. What was the other one I wanted to take? Gunslinger, rifleman. Oh, and I wanted to take gun nut. And I think I went ahead and took uh, uh, is a, can I take another gunslinger? Yeah, so I'm gonna take this other gunslinger. So now my pistols are gonna do much more damage than they were doing. You usually got to close it and then open it back up. See, they were doing 18, now they're all doing 25. Now, my gun that I use is a little bit more modified. Now it's doing 30. And the sniper rifle, it was doing uh, 34. Now it's doing 40. So, there we go. Okay, so... So now when I get in the water, no radiation. Now don't drink the water, you'll still get radiation poisoning. I'm, I'm not good. I can't swim for shit. Don't wait for me. Little bastard.
the other one go? Heather, did you kill it yet? Kick his ass, Heather. You're mine now. Get him, get him. Don't let him do that shit to you. Where'd he go? Sucker there is running. Oh, I was going to change uh, change my video card settings, but I can't do it now. Uh, I have I dropped my resolution down to. Uh, I dropped my resolu or not my resolution, my video settings down to uh, high from ultra high, and uh, I don't see anything improvement wise. If anything, I see more. Uh, more uh, shit. What do you want to say? It's it's not looking as good and it's uh, messing up just as bad if not worse okay so we're gonna go over to uh, wicked trucking company and we are going to uh, part of the wacky wasteland mod that I added added a drug lab in there and the, there's two guys in there, and they're in hazmat suits. So I'm going to get me some hazmat suits so that whenever uh, whenever we have electrical storms or I have to go into radiation, I'm going to be protected. Okay, so... Hey, I'm, Abernathy's on this farm. Haven't been up here in a while. Raiders hit the place and killed one of their daughters. Fucking raiders. Only thing worse than a raider is a simp. Yep. Got to agree with you there, Heather. Oh, man. <sighs> Shit. Sorry, tired. Did she get both of them? I guess she did. Okay, so that's that's pretty well radiated. Remember, anywhere there's yellow barrels, it's going to be radiated. So we are not going to uh, go in there right now until after I get my hazmat suit.
So there's four or five ghouls up here. Uh, one, two, three, four. I think there's four ghouls that are alive. Might be five. I think it's four. The first thing we got to do is kill this sucker here. Double tap. These guys are hard to kill. Matter of fact, I might eat something just so that uh, my health is as best that it can be. See how these are time released when you eat them? Part of the wasteland, uh, wacky wasteland mod. God, I took a lot of damage, but so what we want to do is heal ourselves, sleep for one hour. Now I know how to make quantum jet. And getting past the ferals is getting harder each time. Not to mention the fact that our stealth boy stockpile is getting low. However, they do provide decent security. didn't get the gun that I wanted that I thought he had. There we go. Well, I want the uh, the long magazine off of that sucker. Oh, and it's got an advanced. Oh shit, it's got an advanced. Uh, see, it does 43, and mine only does 30. I will be snatching that gun apart. Yes, I will. Take it apart, put the parts on mine. That's not bad little deal right there okay so technical documents later on when you're doing stuff with the Brotherhood of Steel uh, I do the Minutemen and the Brotherhood of Steel uh, I don't know if you can make them if you can make them coincide coexist because I've never gotten that far but uh nice I, uh, when you start doing things for the Brotherhood of Steel, they're going to ask you to uh, look for technical documents while you're out exploring. And uh, that's, you turn them in, you get money. So we've already got one. This would be the equivalent of a uh, meth lab, except in the 
Capital Wasteland. I mean, not Capital Wasteland, the, uh, uh, the Fallout universe. Okay, so I gotta go pee, man, I'm sorry. Let's listen to a, uh, Uh, let's do the uh, the minigun. We'll listen to the minigun. I'll be right back. If you require firepower and accuracy is a distant concern, then miniguns are the way to go. The Rockwell CZ-53 personal minigun was an aging design around the time of the war, slowly phased out in favor of the more advanced CZ-57 Avenger imports like the Rheinmetall Vindicator. However, it was still a beast, boasting a theoretical fire rate of over 60,000 5mm rounds per minute, though usually greatly reduced to manage recoil, providing more than enough firepower to turn any soft target into pulp. Rockwell minigun designs accept a variety of belt feeds, including from backpack cases and drums. The CZ-53 can also be modified with different barrels to tailor performance. The adventurous or insane are sometimes known to wrap barbed wire and scrap around the rotating barrel to create an improvised bayonet. In short, while it may not have the gel-thin cooling or chrome plating of the Avenger, the CZ-53 is still a potent force on the post-apocalyptic battlefield. Okay, now I'm back. That was perfect timing. What else do we got to listen to here? Eh, take it from the top. The stag took a symbolic role in many old world religions due to their strength and grace. I'm curious to know if such a designation would be given to this thing. Rad stags are descended from the common deer. Two-headed, like the Brahmin, hey, each head can act it? autonomously from the other. Uh-oh. Dog meat's on the prowl. It's not coming. Stuck in there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Good old Bethesda glitch. Come on out, you fool. You know what? That way if he comes out, he's going to get his shit. And I'll know about it. I'll hear it go off. Surely he'll work his way out of that mess. Only in Bethesda games. these ghouls come from. knows it and he don't care. Yeah, if you don't have the skills to upgrade your weapons like you want to and you find the same kind of gun that's more powerful you can take parts off of one and put them on another
Heather's not too bad of a singer. She's better than I am. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not going to hit his ass. I wonder if I can do a, uh, put a grenade in his pocket. I guess not. Yeah, if he ever gets out of there, he'll set that landmine off and I'll be dead meat. Only in a Bethesda game. What are you barking at? I just restocked if you need some tea. Let's see what you have. You won't be sorry. So. I thought I said barter. There she goes. I'm all ears. Can we chat? Sure. What's on your mind? I can hack terminals when we need it. I'm not very good at it. Never had to be. But I'll learn. Plus, if it's easy enough, I never fail. Your thoughts? Used to be this guy in Bunker Hill that didn't eat any food. Lived on those blood packs you find in hospitals. We called him the Bloody Baron. Show me what you got. That's it?
Now, I've been here a bunch, and I just, uh, I accidentally seen that one. One time. some more 10 millimeter rounds I'm getting low Perfect. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% damage. Cargo manifest. General Atomics Factory. Corvair Assembly Plant. Mass Fusion Containment. Check this message. Please, kids, remember that deliveries must go through Tim or me before driving out. It's mad important. Do not deliver straight to the client. S especially not before we change the papers. Do, n do have me or Tim do a pass over the cargo and sign off. This is big, guys. Don't screw up unless you want to end up like that last freaking idiot who delivered the full cargo and put our asses in hot water. Boss man, Blake. Should be the last ghoul, unless he's one of the ones that she killed. That's it, one lousy block. Deal 
feisty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. Okay, so now we are going to uh, put on our hazmat suits that we just picked up. Go over here. Go to the outfit configurer configurator. And we're gonna go to next loadout and next loadout and save loadout. And we are ready to rock and roll. So dog meat likes to fly through here and mess up all these blocks up here. He's like a speed demon. And of course they say Gary. Oops, gotta wake the wife up. Uh. Okay, let's listen to a little uh, Listen to the power, aren't well? I don't know how this will Schools be. already lead a hard life in the wasteland, beset by prejudice from all sides. As if that wasn't enough, they can become feral, degenerating into a wild animal kept alive by radiation, interested only in slaughter and gorging itself on whatever it manages to kill. It's a fate worse than death. Why ghouls go feral is still not entirely understood. You'd think that after two centuries, we would know what causes it, so we could come up with a solution. Our best guess is that exposure to intense levels of ionizing radiation or other environmental factors cause a rapid degeneration of higher brain functions and regression into a primal, feral state. Feral ghouls typically cluster in groups and attack whatever disturbs them, uttering a screech that lures other ghouls that will attack in turn. The central nervous system atrophied. Feral ghouls are not bound by human limiters on muscle use, making their strikes far more deadly. The process of ghoulification is sadly irreversible, and since they don't die out like humans do, feral ghoul populations have been a plague on the wasteland for centuries, from Necropolis to Boston. Social isolation seems to be a factor in causing a ghoul to go feral. Although it's anyone's guess just how impactful it can be. As communities of ghouls are also known to suffer from their members going feral. Uh, they are? I didn't know that. That is really new new one for me. Where's Heather at? Hey. Take a look at it. So now we can op open up all these trucks. All yours. So that damn uh, freaking guy hadn't come out of there yet. Oh well, he'll be here the next time we come by, probably. He may be dead since I put a, a landmine there. Plus, I'm going to give him something to fight. Um... What is this guy? He is a uh, construction. He's got a nail gun. He can shoot. Powering up. Protectron on 
duty. Yes, yeah, see, he's. I have my hard hat on, big boy. Okay, so uh, maybe he'll go kill that guy. It won't still be in there when we come back next time. It's either going to be dead or running around. Oh shit, I didn't put my... Uh, I don't think I got my radiation outfit on. I might have it on. Sweet. Yeah, I think I got it on. Now, we're going to go to combat mode. Yeah, this is a really good tool. Hey there. Yes. <clears throat> huh? <clears throat> How's it going, friend? You're welcome to join us. Pull up a patch of dirt, stump, old tire, whatever suits you. Take a load off and stay a while. The good fellowship's in the house. The drinks are how I keep body and soul together. Can I get you something to drink? What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends like to join me for a drink. What can I say? It's a living. So far, wandering life suits me. I see the world, and my friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? Sure, let's see what you got. Sure, let me see what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. So, what can I sell you so I can take some of your money? That's some moonshine. I know you like moonshine. That is probably it. I don't have nothing worth. Well, there's roach meat worth one. Yeah, I can't sell him anything else. Yeah, let's let him keep his penny. You said something there. No doubt about it. So we need to go uh, pick up our uh, our next. Uh, let's see. We need to go talk to the. Oh. We need to go talk to the Abernathys.
man, it's running. That was a waste of bullets. Yeah, damn thing. It's almost dead. what you get when you mess with me. Not my best performance. So there's a uh, couple of things hidden out in here. Can't remember where they're at, but I can't remember where they're at. So here's one of them. And there's another one somewhere. But I got no idea where it's at. I can't remember. Just got to search. So now get our last dead deer something up here. What? What? What are you barking at? Oh, I already knew that was there. Good boy. Yeah, quit pretending that you found that. Yeah, I had it first. Good boy, though. Here. Yeah, good boy, dog. And my buddy. My other dog's gonna get jealous. I think that's it. Okay, so we gotta give dog meat a couple things if he gets his ass up here. Where's he at? There's nothing there now. We already picked it all up. So we started this mission to come here and gather some food. So, and then pick up another quest from Blake. So what we're gonna do is find Blake. There he be. Let me put on my uh, good girl suit. Don't think I need it, but I'm gonna put it on anyhow. Yeah. 
pretty woman walking. Oh, I better not sing. <laughs> That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Lake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? I'm, uh, yeah, you could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What was that I just heard? Uh. What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though, if you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards all of them. Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now, she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Minutemen? You mean Preston Garvey's crew? So you know him, then. Any idea why they haven't been around so much lately? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier. Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Okay, so now... I gotta get permission to pick the uh, melons. I haven't got permission yet. So I talked to the daughter over here. Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. So now we can just grab this crap. Those writers, what? Now, what's funny is I'll pick all these, and when I come back, they'll be back. <laughs> but then the next time you pick them, take a week before they all grow back. Dog meat, quit chasing the cattle. See that dog in there chasing that cow around? Same thing with these. These will all be grown back, but then the second time you pick them, it takes longer. Okay, so we got this. Now let's go back and uh, uh, do some more stuff at Sanctuary. And then we got to go chase down her some power armor.
Now none of this stuff's probably uh, respawned yet. Yeah. Think we got any more water? We probably don't, but we'll check it out. Remember, all these things are linked. Uh, I don't see any water. Nope. Not yet, anyhow. Everything's still running? Yep. So now that I've got a, a hazmat suit, I might as well go ahead and take a damn uh, right away. Don't dig up the roads, man, I'm telling you. How much it just looks better when you get this shit cleaned up? Don't dig up the roads. You can't get them back, I'm telling you. See, these mailboxes will respawn stuff just here and there. Please, just... I need to be alone right now. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, okay, so we've got four... We're going to put another melon down and see what happens. So we can probably put another melon down. So now we have uh, five food 
And if I remember right, she should be able to do six, so we should be able to put... Do I have any more gourds? No more gourds, so I gotta put a melon down. Okay, so that's all one person can handle, is six. So now, we're gonna plant some taters. So first thing I wanna do, well, let's see. We'll do some taters. That should be 12, so that would be 6, right? Yeah, that would be... Yeah, that would be 6. So, let's see. What else do I got? Don't have any wheat. Don't want to do melons. Got no corn. I have one carrot. So we're just going to do these. So now, we're going to go find Mama Murphy, and we're going to put her ass to work. She's been loafing too long. Where you at, Mama Murphy? Better not be sleeping. Well, we got to find Mama Murphy. He's going to be on one of the guard duty things. Come on, Mama Murphy, where are you hiding? And I got a job for him, too, by the way. might be in one of these houses sitting on her butt. Where is Mama Murphy? Clean it up bad. So you move this using the triggers. Did I? What the hell? I accidentally brought a chair too. That's weird. Only in Bethesda games.
Get up. Okay. All right, bye. Love you, bye. Okay, that's it for my phone calls for today. I got to make the coffee at 4.30. Make sure it's made at 5. Try to wake her up at 6 and then make sure she gets up by 6.30. Do that every day. Okay, so we need to find Mama. Ah, there's Mama Murphy. There we go. Everything is accounted for. And we have 12 food. Two people working the food. So now he's going to tell us we need to build some defenses. Uh, where's he at? Sturgis, where you at? Hey, Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Okay, so now we got to build a defenses. Look at her. She's hard at work. What a woman. So, uh... This place will get attacked from that direction. Uh... from the bridge that direction and this other side that's the normal attack route that I've noticed so I usually just do two to start out with depends on how much material I got to build turrets so I'm going to uh, First thing I'm going to do is do a couple of turrets. I got enough to make 16 of these. So there's two turrets. Now each person can uh, guard three guard posts, okay? So the next thing I like to do is put a fence up. Junk fence is a junk fence, but it's still a fence, so... And we want to put the fence behind the turrets. There, it might be good right there. Let's see what we got.
then put one of these big guard posts right here sure there's enough for the cattle barons to get on each side of it so there's one guard post okay and two turrets how many defenses am I supposed to build so I have to build uh, build defenses 100% that's 100% bull crap that is not 100% bucko so now I do a little bit more better job down here and I'll put fences up around most of this place it's all over with so we put a fence here favorite defense towers that I build and I try to make sure that it's as tall as the as tall as the gates and that should be good right there Get down here and square it off. Probably not perfect, but it's pretty close. And then... go uh, and you put two turrets one on each corner <coughs> now these turrets will spin completely around if they have to and usually when one locks on something the other ones join in and they can throw a hail of gunfire okay so now and then we do the same thing on the other side too 
high. About there. Then we go do what we did to the other one. I like to get them tied up against it if I can. That one's not getting tied up against it for some reason. Here we go. See the circuits is what we what we're lacking in this. So you can see where you need you need steel circuit gears and oil. So these produce two, and I think the big ones produce five for defenses. So another thing I like to do is uh, put a gate up. So if we do a, uh, not a gate, a fence. Sometimes you can get this to work like this, like see that work, but now you're not going to be able to get another one to work like that. So what you got to do is you got to put a fence post up. try to get this to go into there and sometimes it doesn't work there we go so there we have a fence a little bit of a crawl way right there but I can't get through it oh I can get through it Whoa, shoot. So what we can do is we can put a couple fence posts in there. And there you go. Nobody can get through. So if you're worried 
could uh, well you could just put one right here I guess let's see this here and then put one of these here and it ain't gonna work so uh, this is messing with us so we'll just throw a fence post in there call it good Pretty big gap. That might be all right. Turret should slow him down, I hope. Then we come down here. Might be able to get uh, one of these to work. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that looks good right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And we could also do a... Uh, That worked out pretty good right there. Yeah, that'll have to do. Because if I put another one on that, it's going to go uh, out into the middle of this crap. So there we go. So this end is pretty secure. Too bad. Yeah, it should be all right. Okay, so this corner's taken care of, and we can assign one person to these, and uh, we uh, we're in pretty good shape. So now we need we need three more, so that I can assign two two people to them. So, remember those street lamps don't work, and we can build street lamps that will work.
this thing here and this idiot won't ever pick up What I don't understand is how come you can't make these. You know, you can make the other two, but you don't have the option to make this one. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now do things a little different because we're going to have a bigger area to cover so we're going to do a uh, a big one and try to get it centered as possible Pretty close. Make sure it's back far enough. There we go. Then we take this is a different style. So later on when I get some more, uh, make some more turrets for this place, I can carry that out farther. And I don't even need to put the legs on it. I just need to hook it up there. And, uh, and it'll work fine. Let me go to the bathroom again, damn it. All right, let's listen to some, uh, 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 power armor. The very first model of power armor, the T-45, was rushed into production in 2066 in response to the Chinese invasion of Alaska. The communist superpower went all in, using their last reserves of oil to support its infantry and armored divisions in a desperate attempt to seize the last notable reserves of black gold in the world. The first T-45 Model A suits arrived on the front line in 2067. Using rugged last generation technologies like alloyed steel for armor. What it lacked in speed and agility, they made up for by allowing soldiers to wield heavy weapons with ease. Rocket launchers, heavy machine guns, mini guns, you name it. The T-45 was instrumental in preventing the Chinese from overrunning Alaska but not much more. 
was a stopgap solution cobbled together on the fly that lacked the performance necessary to shift the Alaskan campaign decisively in American favor. However, numerous delays in T-51's development resulted in the T-45 remaining in production for nearly 10 years as the workhorse of the U.S. military, from the Yukon to the Yangtze. Model D was the most widely produced, also used as a testbed for experimental technologies. The sheer scale of production means that the T-45 can be seen today in the hands of many factions, including the Brotherhood of Steel. Scour the wasteland enough, and you just might come across some yourself. Okay, so I'm back. So let's look at something else, the next power armor. Power armor is more than just some servo motors and armored plating thrown together. It's a highly adaptable weapon system that was one of the fastest growing technologies of the pre-war world and no stranger to revolutions. The base power armor frame is Westex creation. With advanced servo motors, a back-mounted TX-28 microfusion pack serving as basis for late model power armor. The late model is a modular battle system accepting components from every existing series. Each module can be further customized according to the mission profile and the battlefield. Modifications range from the comprehensive, such as the winterization packages used on the T-51Bs during the Anchorage Reclamation, to improvised, as was the case with the Enclave extending the lifespan of worn-out advanced power armor units by jury-rigging Tesla devices on them that provide increased protection from energy attacks and improve the operator's own. The catalog of modifications is extensive and includes different linings responsible for each series model designations, outer coatings, and the aforementioned subsystems like the Tesla device, medic pump, and even experimental stealth boys and jump jets. Look around our wasteland today, and might be easy to assume that dogs are the most popular pets in pre-war America. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. The domesticated feline outnumbered their canine counterparts. Abraham Lincoln kept cats at the White House, and evidence suggests that cats were domesticated 2,000 years before Egypt's pharaohs built the pyramids. Once human populations began to settle down, sow seeds and store crops, Mice became the new threat. Cats are therefore a sensible pet to keep. Their light frames and agile bodies make them excellent small game hunters, and tiny rodents knew it was in their best interest to stay the hell away. Had nature been allowed to run its course, cats would still be feared by rats even today. But man-made nuclear fallout and radiation had a different plan in mind. Whoops, forgot to put the back leg on. So you can hook them. I mean, you, you don't need any more legs. They'll snap together. Running low on gun parts. So 
So I need one more, and for now, I'm thinking right here. See, now I got uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So I got enough for two guys. And Preston, after we do some stuff, he'll become a regular person you can assign to things. <coughs> Shoot, sorry. Mm -hmm. Nani, I'm alive. No, Nani, I'm not dying. I swear to God, I'm fine. Baby girl, quit. Quit. God, you got bad breath. <clears throat> Probably worse than mine. Yeah, so we really need to uh, get a lot of stuff. And we will, you know, for building. We'll be able to once uh, we start our two missions. We're going to fix and start. Because there's, there's one, the reason I want to get her power armor is because there's a shitload of raiders there. And we're going to go full full bore power armor on them people. And oh, uh Heather uh Heather's power armor uh will never damage and her uh and she doesn't need fusion cores. And I think that's because of a mod that I got installed. Um, because uh, I played... And had... A, whew, and had uh, Piper. And Piper didn't... Uh, she didn't need any stuff. So. Let's see how this... Uh, Minuteman patch, no sleeves, grenades. Is that the maximum? Almost the maximum. God. Knee pads. Revolver holster. I'd rather have a 10 millimeter. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. Rank badge. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, Leave me alone. Don't want no traders. Step across the box. We'll make him private first class. And we're going to do a vault. Vault 11 patch. Army green. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> and then we're going to do this one too. Minuteman patch, sleeves rolled up, extra mags. And we're going to make him knee pads, 10 millimeter holster, rank badge. Make him a master sergeant. Is master sergeant better than sergeant? I believe it is. Sergeant major is probably really good. We're going to make him a Master Sergeant. 
and we're going to make this a vault 11 and so now I gotta find my two soldier boys Marcy's actually got a pretty good little outfit on. Those outfits are pretty good. Uh, there's him. Let's see. Sanctuary. Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh, feels good. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living, instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. I want to trade a few things. Okay, so we are going to... Uh... Gonna give him a 10 millimeter pistol just for backup. And would you get out of my way there? Uh, and then uh, I want to give him the minigun because he likes the minigun. And then we're gonna give him the. Uh, Minute Man. I want to make sure he gets the Master Sergeant one. Uh, first class, that's not him. Master Sergeant, okay. So I'm going to give him that. And now, uh, so the thing is, is it's already got a chess piece on it built in so you can give them some uh, leather to boost them a little bit more won't take a chess piece cause see if you give him a chess piece he loses it but you can give him this other crap leather 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 heavy leather or just leather here we go so we'll give him an arm a leg an arm and a leg and I don't have any helmets for him yet I want Minutemen helmets all I got I don't even have any army helmets anymore I thought I had one but anyhow he's good and then uh, I need to give him some ammo So we need to give him uh, five 10 millimeter rounds. They say you can just give him one or two bullets. I always give him five. They the they never run out of ammo. And we give him a hundred of these for the minigun. And then we uh, wonder why these are different. Oh well, can't look at them in here anyhow. So uh, go make him equip the minigun. Then what I like to do to make him think I care about him, make me think I care about him, is uh, give him some food. the good stuff 
So give him one of those and one of those. I try to give him three. Oh, definitely give him one of those. And then uh, stem packs. Give him two stem packs. I could give him one purified water for drinking. And two stem packs. Okay, so now he's got food and water, stem packs, ammunition, backup gun. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Uh, you need to come to your assignment, Master Sergeant. So he'll be able to outfit three, three post, okay? So he's got that one there. I don't know if he'll take these two here or not. He might. Took that one. So he's got these three, okay? So now we got to get what's his name. So where are you at, my buddy friend? Buddy guy, where you at? And then I got to put Cosworth to work. But first I got to find, uh, what's his name? Where the hell is he? See, we almost got a productive society here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll show you these things here. Uh, they are, uh, sca uh, sc scavenging station. What it does is when they get on it, they start throwing parts in your, you get salvage parts. Yeah. And Cosworth can work that. So where the hell did he go, Tin Man? Where you at, Tin Man? Where'd Tin Man go? Seen him running around so oh there he is. Okay. 
Okay, so I still need to find my other... What the hell is he doing up there? Man, I can't believe that. Preston does that every once in a while. And I still ain't figured out how they get up there. Okay, so we're not going to worry about him right now. So, we... We got... Both our missions. We need to go get her some power armor. So, I don't think, does he want to talk to me? Nah, he doesn't want to talk to me. So another thing, you see those, I'll usually put a turret on that one and on that one, but, uh, and then I could put another, just only a turret rack right in there, but I want to wait, because uh, since I got that power, I'm thinking I might, uh, I might do the uh, missile turrets, well, I don't know, let's see what we can do down in here. See, I can breathe underwater. Still up on top of that roof. Yep, crazy sucker.
Okay, I'm not ready to read her newspaper. I know I already read it, but I'll have to read it to everybody else. <laughs> Got eight. Two hours and seventeen minutes. I don't think these critters ever come back here. I think they're gone, they're gone. And that thing hadn't regenerated yet, so. The gourds probably hadn't grown back yet. Nope. I think dog meat wants to race me. So this next place we're going to, I don't know if we've been there or not. Because I've had to redo so many videos. I don't think we've been there yet. Oh, I forgot. To, did I give dog meat a teddy bear yet? Hey. Give me a baseball bat. You don't need that. So, dog meat meat needs a cop. That's the only one I got. So, I'd rather give him the red one, but. For now, he'll use that till we get a red bandana. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Give him a red dress. Just kidding. And give him one of these. And then he needs teddy bear. Dog meat loves teddy bears. Good boy. Okay, now it's not night time, so these suckers are going to be hard to. Uh, Hard to find. See dog meat snatch that sucker out of the sky. I gotta put on my uh, fighting clothes. I'm in my girly clothes. Damn dog meat. 
screwed him up. Must have broke his neck. So, uh, there's three more out here somewhere. And we don't have the darkness for us to find them. So, uh, we might not find them suckers. They are a pain in the ass to find when you can't see the glowy wings. And then puppies slide, like there's one right there. We got two out of three. Now we could use the dog meat trick. Let's see if it'll work. Hey. So you scan around. And I think that's the one I've already picked up. Pretty sure that's the one I already picked up. So, there should only be one left now. Hey. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to say tough titty on that last one. Yeah, see, they slide like snot. Let's go back over here and kill some ghouls. We can live without one bowfly. Yeah, Walking Dead, there's zombies that got nothing on fallouts. Them guys, uh, you see how they dodge and stuff, man. Should be one more somewhere around here. Because there was four of them. There 
it is. I don't like the look of this place. What'd you say? She said something I didn't hear. We're almost at two and a half so hours. When I find duct tape, you know, or wonder glue. If you don't use it, you can always trade it. Everybody needs a piece of. Teddy bear dog meat. Want it? You give him a teddy bear. Now he's got two teddy bears. That dog doesn't know nothing but love. Doesn't want me to pet him though, does he? I think that's everything. So I am going to uh, do a modification. So this gun here, I'm going to change it to a standard receiver, which I already have one in stock. Long ported barrel. I don't know if mine's long ported or not. Sharpshooter grips. Large magazine. I don't care about the glowy sights and I don't care about the compensator either. So now we find my favorite gun. And we modify it. You there didn't even have to build it but we had one in stock and we got a long ported barrel so what's the difference standard superior recoil sharpshooter yeah large magazine now we're going to make these but I want them my favorite sites. And maybe later on I'll put a silencer on it. It cuts the. So if you look at. Uh, it's not going to show me. It cuts the range down on the gun when you put a silencer on them, but I sure like them. Okay, so do I got any hunting rifles? Ooh, looky there. Oh, 
Huh. I had a set. Damn it. I could have uh, took the sights off of that thing there. Everything I could. Well, that's all right, though. But what I do want to do is see what I can get away with on this gun here. So we want... So we're going to go with a powerful receiver. So we're eventually going to upgrade to that. Ah, oh, why can't I do... Oh, I'm out of screws. I am out of freaking screws. I knew that was going to happen. Oh well. Now, I, you can do this. Um, but see, we're at level one. Oh, I don't think I took that perk. Yeah, all we can get steel out of these. You can get screws out of them, but not very many. Uh, there's three levels to that scrapper or whatever it's called to where you can take guns apart. Okay, so... So we haven't been here since I started this playthrough. Yep, we don't have any screws, damn it. Told you to run out of stuff that you needed sooner or later. Excellent. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. We've already got it. Okay, so this guy. Okay, so deal nothing, nothing. Okay, so now Now, if flag gets torn out of there, we'll be able to use that.
Doesn't look like we're going to get our three that we need. Now, if there's one last chance. Nope. So, we're going to quit. Go back in. And damn zero nothing but one okay so now thing is being really stubborn. I mean, this is harder than the average bear. So we've got our three back. Okay, so let's see what we might have here. Nothing. God, I don't know what it might possibly be. Sunny. Looks like it doesn't have any A's in it. Look at everything has got a damn A in it. Except this one here. And this one here. There we go. Oh my gosh. Statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incinerary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all true patriots know that what I do, I do for my own I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. Okay, so Oh, I forgot to uh, get all my shit. Damn, I almost for ran off and forgot about that. Okay, so it's time to quit. Watch your back. We're going to stop right okay. here. And then let's make sure we saved. Yep. Then we're going to quit.
quit and quit and when we come back we will be back on the road to chasing down some power armor so the one that we're going to uh, the one that we're going to grab uh, it's going to be missing a couple pieces, but I know where there's two more, and those other two are over where we're going to, to do our missions. So we'll get those. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, parts to make her suit a whole suit. All right. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate your time. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, comment if you want me to go back to one of my other games I will just ask me to and I'll probably do this until somebody says hey uh, do something else or I get bored with it and then I'll go back to Mech Warrior or uh, you know Fallout 3 uh, hell I'd like to do some more Horizon Zero Dawn but uh, I think that's my most least looked at one that I have is Horizon Zero Dawn. And I really like it. I think it's a really good RPG. But anyhow, thank you. Appreciate it. Let me know what you'd like me to do if you care to. Bye.